Alrighty, welcome back to Random American, and today is the most exciting day. We got the wiring harness that just came in, so let's get it wired up. Alrighty, so what we have here is a complete vehicle harness. Uh, this thing cost me 85 bucks. Now, there are certain things you can tell that it, it's an $85 harness, like the, these are, are loose. They're going to fall out easy. I'm probably going to have to just push the pins over, do something. I don't know. I'll do something. Uh, sorry if it sounds like somebody's holding my nose and I'm underwater. Uh, I inhaled some ceramic insulation, and it is playing hell on my sinuses right now. So you'll have to bear with me. But all we're going to do is, I know this looks like a mess. They actually did a pretty good job organizing all of this. And I'm going to go through this with a little bit of blue tape and a Sharpie. I'm going to label these wires, what they are and where they go. So whenever we go to throw this into the truck, it should just be throwing it straight into the truck. And well, I'm not going to say it, but hopefully it works pretty smooth. So I'm going to get cracking on this. Uh, I don't figure you feel like sitting here for four hours while I go yep that's a radio wire radio so i'll be back very shortly with hopefully this done or i'll be more confused than ever all righty so new developments uh that's painted over the grease uh also i'm not labeling anything because this is already labeled like door lock power uh left low beam i mean everything is labeled so yeah that's that's pretty exciting and i'm going i i don't even know what to say i didn't expect this 85 dollars, and the worst i have to deal with are these being loose so i'll take that as a win Let's go ahead and get this thrown into the truck. It seems like I can just do whatever the hell I want to, and it's going to take me by the hand and lead the way. Uh, also, I got I had new knock sensors, and these ones are wrong, so I just had to order new ones again. So there's that. Those will be coming in here later this week, so the intake won't go on that until those come in. But other than that, Let's get to it. This is exciting. Okay, so how I'm doing these connections is pretty simple. I have these uh, solder connections. Let me find my blower motor wire. Okay, so I have my two connections here. Uh, this wire is a lot better than factory. So you get this, put it over your, your solder connection, put it over the one end. You get these two that are, you kind of spread them out a little bit. You push them together. Whenever you push them together, you bring that solder right into the center of them. You just heat them up. Nothing to it. So you heat it up until it seals on both ends and the center of it shrinks down with the solder. And then you just let it cool. Whatever you do, may have heated it a little too much. You'll get it figured out. Whatever you do, it makes a nice solid connection because it's soldered together. And just like that, you have a very tight waterproof connection and there's no ifs ands or buts about it so i'm not going to be the best at explaining all this right now 
because I am slightly under the weather. But I'm going to just keep chugging along at this. Uh, I'm going to try and get everything on the inside here that needs to be wired up, wired up. And I'll join you back in just a second. If I come up with anything else, uh, I'll let you know pretty quick. And because I'm going to struggle with a lot of this. And then we'll go ahead and start running the stuff outside and under the truck. And I'll show you how I'm going to wire in the LS harness to all of this. So, yeah, seems to be pretty straightforward and simple. So I'll see you guys here in just a minute. Okay, so I have the interior mostly wired up. Uh, a lot of this stuff is for my gauges, power windows, stuff like that, stuff I don't have. Uh, I have my front and rear side of my harness for uh, the exterior stuff organized. I'm going to go ahead and get the fuel tank out of here so I can run that harness down the frame. <clears throat> and yeah, then I'll get the, we'll get the taillights and all that wired up maybe even a license plate light don't don't get too uh, ambitious on me now though but yeah we'll go ahead and get this out of here and just keep on moving along all right <clears throat> okay don't want that under here. <clears throat> All right. So, basically, I'm just going to start taking bolts out and hope for the best. Whenever it drops on me, ooh, it might be mostly empty. <clears throat> Well, getting the half inch. Okay. Man, these are not happy. All right. That's a good, good. Oh, that was easy. Oh, yeah. None of these are going back in, guaranteed. Oh yeah, this thing's heavier than hell. <clears throat> awesome. Oh. <sighs> Chiller neck. Okay. I didn't forget the filler neck. You forgot the filler neck. You know what? I'm just going to cut it. <clears throat> Pretty well screwed up anyway. Oh, man. Oh, now that I've professionally uninstalled that. Let's go die. <sighs> oh, yeah, this thing's got a lot of fuel in it. Oh, perfect. Okay. 
There we go. Alrighty, so here's where we're at. Uh, this wiring harness is a little bit too short. Uh, if you have a short bed, it'll probably work for you. But this is supposed to go all the way to the right side, and it won't quite make it. This is supposed to come all the way up to here. That definitely ain't going to make it. Not a big deal. Uh, I have this giant wire of purple with a white stripe. So we're going to make everything the same coming up to our lights. So whenever I go to work on this again, I'll have no idea. So that's good. Uh, other than that, pretty uneventful. I just had my, I just separated my wires. Uh, what goes to the front, what goes to the back. I uh, split them into two and then just real crudely wrapped tape all the way around it and then fed it back along the frame. Wasn't really a whole lot to show there. But I just ran it back here. I zip tied it along the way. Nothing, nothing too crazy. And then got to here, realized that it was too short, and figured I'd share that with you. So whenever you go to buy this, you might know in the future of what might or might not happen. So not a big deal. Still worth it. Holy hell, I ain't never gonna do that again. Okay, so I've gotten the first one cut and we're about that much too short. Just enough to piss you off a little bit. Not too bad. I'll deal with that. So in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and wire these up one at a time. Because I don't want to get them confused. I already forget which one I did first. So I'll go ahead and get this one wired in. And then we'll just move down through all three on this side. And do the same thing on that side. After that, we're done. As far as the back half. I'll go ahead and wire up the lights up front. But yeah, this is coming right along. I started this at noon, I think. We're sitting at 5 o'clock. So, you know, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. I still plan on having the engine and transmission set in tomorrow. And I don't need any of the lights hooked up for that. So, I'll take that as a win. Let's keep on grinding. I'm probably going to shut this off and just hammer this out as quickly as possible. And I'll see you at the front of the truck. thing I've done in a while. I have to steer with my brakes. Well, it made it. Uh, I mean, it works. Now let's go get the transmission. All right, so since I just lost a whole bunch of video, <laughs> I have uh, obviously the engine and all that down here. Uh, I went ahead and put the <clears throat> I went ahead and put the back cover on 
I just press my rear main seal into this by hand and then set this on there. I got all these bolts started by hand, just barely in there. But I tightened up the back side of the oil pan that seemed to center me up pretty good. Don't forget to silicone your corners. <clears throat> and then I tightened these up and then I tightened the bottoms up. Nothing too crazy. Uh, as you can see, I painted the block over the grease and the rust, but it's there. It's there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my other mount on. I took a buffer to these to get the paint off. I didn't do it to the other side because I'm a little bit of a moron, you know, but it was practice. Oh, I'll break clean all my bolts. I'll break clean the holes. I'll let all this dry. <clears throat> then I'm going to use way too much Loctite on this. I learned from the other side, though. Test fit this first. Yep. Because over there, I had to grind down a bolt. <clears throat> and I bent the shit out of this. But it's okay. It's okay. Because I don't care. What you shaking at? Whatever. Either it'll work or it won't. I don't know. All right, now I'm going to tighten them up as much as this quarter inch drive ratchet will let me. Is that enough? <laughs> I ain't got a clue, but it's what it's getting. Now I'll just repeat the same thing with the old mounts that came out of this truck. And this side will be done. Uh... I'll tighten a couple things up on this, but other than that, we're getting pretty close to setting her in. We'll be here hopefully in the next hour. And obviously can't forget the flywheel. Same thing with these bolts. We'll go ahead and douse these pretty good. Give that a minute. Because these I really, really need Loctited. My damn motor mounts can come loose. It's fine. I don't want spinny horsepower things to come off. If you do this whenever it's warmer out, you don't have to dry your brake cleaning in that way. It'll just kind <laughs> of do it itself. Okay, so that bugger there. Pressure is falling a lot. Easy as that, so far. You want to Google the torque specs, because that I'm actually going to torque. 
All righty. I can do that. Thirty-seven. All right. All right, that's all torqued up. I'm happy with that. Go ahead and put these on here. I'm going to the forward most position for right now. Okay, so I made a quick modification to the original motor mounts, the one on the passenger side. I had to cut a notch out of the bottom and you have to flatten the humps in the center for the that are there for your original mount. It isn't too complicated. You just need to make it big enough for that to clear. Nothing crazy. So I'll go ahead and get these bolted on and we'll start working on getting the transmission connected. Good stuff. All right, so as you can see, this thing's still dirty. But I've pressure washed it, I've purple powered it, I've brake cleaned it. This is all the better it's going to get. So we're going to go ahead and paint this. Oh, good God, maybe if I can get the damn pan off. Every time I go to paint something, the wife asks me. She asked me if I'm going to paint it purple. And I say, hey, you want a, if you want a truck that's purple, I'll build you one. I'll put one together for you. I'll paint it purple. I'll paint whatever hell color you want. She always says no. She wants me to paint my stuff purple. Also, if you're a diesel guy, it's kind of funny me painting this transmission purple. So if you know the answer to that, Go ahead and put her down in the comments as to as to why and who. I've got a couple of stickers over here that I don't fully want to paint over. One of them I think is a Jasper Rebuild sticker. And this is going to have so many runs in it. It'll be in the Olympics. I ain't never seen a purple person in the Olympics. Only a matter of time, though, I feel. Oh, I got enough. Oh, I might have another can or so there in the uh, basement. Now I know why my dad always sat on buckets.
need to find the hold down for that or make another one. All right. So I'm going to paint transfer case black and then uh, maybe that thing, it needs a lot more. So I might just end up, so I'll leave it until I go to do my speed sensor because that thing needs a lot more cleaning. Oh yeah. There's rain right on the paint. Perfect. Since I'm sitting around not doing anything, let's go ahead and get the exhaust out of this. Oh yeah, cut her right behind the glass packs. Perfect. Looks like enough battery. like I had enough. said you needed two of them. Just a suggestion. Pulling the cross member out and you can tell this thing's never never had an oil leak. Not once. Alright, so I lost track of time. I can't remember where we were at. I uh, got the transmission, made it up to the engine. So I'm going to move my chain back a little bit and we'll get it set in. Probably. It'd be really nice to have the intake plate or the valley cover plate but i didn't want to buy one I'm starting to think now that i probably should have sound. Oh. Why don't you tell me? I am taking my hood off for this one. Like somebody turned the sun on. If any of you needed to know, taking your hood off on the engines right here is not 
not the way to do it. So I'm going to have to change where my motor mounts sit. Luckily, I have all the adjustability in the world. I'll bring in to show you. So. So as you can see, I'm almost touching the firewall in the back, but my mounts aren't even close. Not a big deal. Uh, I just kind of sort of almost went off of where the small block was. So I'll just adjust that real, well, I'll, I'll move that chain across just the back. Then I'll adjust that real quick and I'll just plop her right in. So be back in just a second. <laughs> okay, so the engine is in, the motor mount bolts are in it. They're not tight. The cross member is in back in there. I'm going to have to space that way the hell up so I can uh, get my drive shaft where I need it. Also, I'm going to have to cut my cross member just a little bit. I'm going to just basically like shave the corner off of it on the inside so I can tilt the motor forward a little bit. I might end up bringing the motor up, but I wouldn't bet on that. That one I'm going to have to talk to other people on, and I'll do that before I cut that cross member. So, <clears throat> other than that, we're looking pretty good. Uh, See, the transfer case needs to come way the hell up, obviously. I have more than a mountain of room above there. So we're coming right along. The rear drive shaft is the correct length, so that's good. Uh, I might see about different cross members, what all I can do to make this work, but I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Uh, next time we're getting the fuel system done, we're finishing up the wiring, and I might even start working on getting the engine and transmission leveled out how I want them to. Uh, not 100% sure how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll figure it out. So exciting stuff we're we're coming right along uh i don't really have a plan but if i did i bet it would be great so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one